Hi, I'm Jamie from Jalen Mama, and I had an all-natural birth. Hello, I'm Jessica from the Mommy Archives, and I had a medicated birth. Hi, my name is Shaylee from the channel Shaylee and Baby, and I ended up having a C-section. Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie, if you are new, and today I am doing a collaboration with two of my very good mommy friends here on YouTube, Jessica from the Mommy Archives and Shaylee from Shaylee and Baby. And we thought it'd be fun to kind of come together and just celebrate that birth is beautiful. Regardless of how your children came into the world, it's still beautiful. So once you're done hearing my story, be sure to click the links below and go check out their videos. Show them some love, subscribe to them while you're over there. Speaking of subscribing, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do have upload videos on a weekly basis and I would love to get to know you as a subscriber and if you like this video be sure to show us some love and give it a thumbs up. So Jess and Shaylee each just have one birth story to share with you guys because they've only given birth once. Um, I have three. So briefly, I guess I can just touch on the three of them. My oldest, Fiona, was born in a hospital. I had an all-natural labor and delivery and she came really fast. So, like We got to the hospital at 2.30 and she was born at 4.04. So it was a very fast labor and delivery. I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, I'd never given birth before. My husband and I had never taken any classes and I thought I wanted an all-natural birth, but I was in triage the majority of the time and about 10 minutes after we got to our room, I started pushing. So there really was no options for anything else. She just kind of came, I went with it, and trusted my body. I had a resident deliver her because my doctor didn't make it to the hospital, and that's kind of how she came into the world. Fast forward 16 months later, I gave birth to our second child, my son, Ezra, and he was born in a birth center. I went through midwives. After I had Fiona, I spent a lot of time kind of diving into childbirth and figuring out kind of what my beliefs and my convictions on it were for me personally and so I wanted to have another labor and delivery but I didn't want to have it in a hospital setting with a doctor so I sought out this practice of midwives that also work along doctors and I decided to go through them and I had an amazing amazing experience I had a water birth with him I loved my midwives oh I loved them I honestly want to go back and visit them because I miss them so much they were so amazing 18 months later I had my son Jude and I went through through the same practice that I went through with Ezra. I had a different midwife, but the same midwives treated me through my pregnancy, and I had another awesome experience. And looking back at all three of my experiences, I really do feel like, for me personally, the all natural labor and delivery with my midwives at the birth center, I really feel like that was for me. However, when I compare all three of them, they were all really different in the sense that different things happened, I had a different person deliver my children, and that kind of says a lot. I feel like even if you're having a baby in a hospital setting, you can still have what you want. I still had a natural labor and delivery. I might not have been as passionate about it as I am now, but it was still a beautiful experience. And at the end of the day, what I wanted out of it was a healthy baby. And I had my daughter and she was beautiful and healthy and I wouldn't change anything. I might change sitting in triage forever or my doctor not showing up, but overall the experience of having her was absolutely beautiful. I feel like a lot of the time we can define ourselves by how our children are born. You know, if we had a VBAC, if we didn't get an epidural, if we did get an epidural. But that's not what defines us as mothers. Loving our children defines us as mothers. Many of you guys can't have babies of your own biologically, but that doesn't mean that you can't have babies of your own, that you can't mother a child, that you can't be that maternal figure to someone. Many of you have had your own babies and you've carried them for nine months and maybe you had to have an emergency C-section and it wasn't at all what you planned. Maybe you chose an epidural because you wanted an epidural and you didn't want to feel the pain. All of that is okay. And I feel like a lot of the times we shame ourselves with the desires that we have or the choices that we make because we compare ourselves to other moms. And I will be more than happy to be the person to tell you that it is okay. Any child coming into this world is a beautiful thing and it doesn't matter how it happens. I hope this was encouraging to you guys and maybe a little more insight into me personally and my stories with my three children. And definitely check out Shaylee and Jessica's video linked below. I know you guys are going to love them just as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a blessed day and I will see you guys next time.